Bush, the Electro College, gonna have universal suffrage and defy anybody to get me out on the floor to Louisiana. Huh? Who's your candidate for governor? We'll talk about that later. It's all right now. Think a better rest. Gentlemen, the doctors tell me we're going to have to have transfusions. We need type B blood. Those of you who know you have type B, please come with me. Those of you who don't know your type and wish to volunteer, please check in with the nurse. JR. JR, I want you to ask Huey about the DDoc box. Why we for slumber, America? Land of system of government here. Well, I haven't any time for these people. Did you ever hear of a dictator that widened the base of suffrage in his state? That's what I did. I repealed the poll tax. I made it possible for more than 300,000 people to go to the polls and vote. Yeah. Well, I believe in that. And if you believe that the United States of America is to be ruled by the people, that the poor man is as good as the rich, that the people have a right to pass on issues. If you believe that this is a state and a country where every man is a king, but no man wears a crown, then I want you to vote for Huey Long for the United yeah. States of America.
Does a junior senator from Louisiana wish to speak on the question? Yes. The junior senator from the great state of Louisiana wishes to speak. We all know there's but one reason for the depression that is across our land. And that is that but a handful of men own all the money in the country. Now, this Congress does not enact legislation to provide for the redistribution of wealth. There'll be no need to worry about a budget or a deficit. Some tell us we are faced with communism. Well, why not? When 1% of the people control 59% of the national wealth, now, I would not take away a single luxury. Fish ponds for fishing, estates for following the hounds. But when we reach a point where men have so many millions that another hundred or so means nothing to them, we are not going to siphon all the water from the spring for our little pool. If we could simply let the people enjoy the wealth, the accumulations, and the contrivances that we have, if, with the invention of every machine, we could secure the education of every man, if, with increased production of every kind. There could be less toil, more hours of pleasure and recreation. If there could be a people enjoying happily and contentedly what the Almighty has made it possible to provide, 